everyone, this video is about minimizing bubbles in the mixing process. I really hope you find it helpful. Um, most of this video is a voiceover. I had to record it in hospital the other day, making use of my time, but I didn't realize the amount of background noise. So apologies in advance. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I do understand that this does go against most resin manufacturers guidelines, but I'll go into this in more detail later on. Firstly, I heat both the resin and hardener in boiling water straight from the kettle for about 10 to 15 minutes before I mix them. After you've heated the resin and hardener for about 10 to 15 minutes, it is ready to pour. It will be very, very runny and water-like, which is exactly how you want it. And as you can see in the video, you need to pour on the side of the cup. This reduces bubbles. So, for example, it's like a trickle effect, like a waterfall effect, without the splash at the bottom, <laughs> because the splash is what causes the bubbles. Just as a warning, when you heat the resin and hardener, it speeds up the curing time so only mix what you need which is what you tend to aim to do anyway but you will find that it does start curing a hell of a lot quicker than if you weren't to heat it so moving on to the stirring you need to stir using a silicone stick if you can wood contains air and you will see them go into your resin a clean silicone stick will just glide really smoothly through the resin whilst you stir the aim is to see absolutely no bubbles in your resin this would be whilst you're stirring during stirring whilst pouring this is your aim it is difficult to get bubbles out so minimizing them at the earliest opportunity is key to bubble free resin as you can see here the resin and hardener go quite misty as i'm stirring you can see the swirls and it's not quite see-through the aim is to get this absolutely crystal clear that is when you know the resin and hardener have completely and thoroughly mixed together properly without bubbles without the streaks you need to get rid of every single streak and you will see that as the video goes on make sure you take your time during this process mix slowly and make sure you pull the resin from the bottom of the cup to mix with the hardener that you've poured on the top once it is completely clear this is when you'll know that your resin has been mixed properly so this part i'm going to speed up a little bit i don't stir this quickly i promise i probably spend at least three minutes stirring very slowly to make sure i minimize the amount of bubbles see the three minutes is based on mixing about 300 mil i don't think timing it really matters i think you can see when your resin has been properly mixed by the the way that it looks it will not have any swirls inside and it will be crystal clear and not one bit cloudy this is based on three resin brands that i've used and it has pretty much been the same for all three for more information on the brands that I currently use, please check out the link in this video description and you'll find all the details on there. Just as a disclaimer, I am fully aware that I'm probably going against manufacturer guidelines 
this is what I do. This is my own personal recommendation. I have always use this method and it works really really well for me if you do want to try it then try it if you don't and you want to stick to the manufacturer guidelines then do that but if anything happens to your work it's it's your choice to copy <laughs> to copy what i'm doing i really do hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions just pop it in the comments um, I'm trying to get through some more video content. It has been quite difficult for me at the moment. I'm having my house, I'm having a loft conversion, so, and I'm staying at my mum's, and it's just a bit of a nightmare at the moment, but I will try and get more videos going as soon as I possibly can. As I said, hope you found it helpful. Remember to subscribe and have a lovely day.